All right. Here we are returning to Inside the Backrooms as a bonus episode, but bonus level. Um, they added this a little while ago, and I hadn't noticed. But considering this is my first Inside the Backrooms, or I guess just Backrooms in general game, I decided that it would be fitting to come back and finish it off. They might update it again for sure, but there's no telling. But in order to get to this level, the grasslands, you have to get through the escape ending, which I did, which is through the sewers, through the hotel, then some other thing. Basically the normal, the, the long route escape, not just the, the quick get out of jail kind of thing. But, yeah. That's what's going on here. I hope you guys are here for it. Apparently there's a new entity. I'm not too sure what that looks like. But we'll find out together. If it's anything like it just sounded like, uh, it might be some sort of giant baby. Um, we don't have much of anything, unfortunately. I don't know if the flashlight makes any difference here. It might, but... So far, the aesthetic is really nice. I kind of like this. Oh, don't blur that out for me. All right. But yeah, this nice skyscraper high in the clouds. Also, this lush greenery. It's really nice. And here's our entity, I presume. 172, a highly hostile mutant creature. It is a humanoid composed of roots and plants. It feeds on human flesh in large quantities, lacks vision, but has developed hearing and is thought to use the environment to its advantage. It can adapt with the environment to hide and detect presences from a distance as well as attack unexpectedly. It is recommended to pay attention to the surroundings at all times, act stealthily, and hide. The following photo was taken by a scout. Before he died, he got caught in something and couldn't escape. Can I see a bigger version of the picture? No. Okay. Well, you kind of see... I don't know. It's got, like, some spikes or something on its back. Looks like a humanoid with spikes on its back. Oh, the sun's setting. That's interesting. Doesn't seem like it continues to move. Oh. Oh, these are stairs. I thought I was going to start going to slid down. Can already hear that over there. I need to find myself some meds and some almond water right off the bat. If possible. Okay. I'm not even sure what the puzzle is for this. That's gonna be blocked. Is there an opening over there? I'd rather actually not go over there because that's where I heard you. There's a door over here. I fix the, the graininess of this. That's better. What <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I don't know where I'm running to. I don't know where I'm running to. <sighs> oh, I fixed it right before I almost died. <laughs> Moth chill is great. Looks like a giant Venus flytrap. Nothing? Is that a plant? Yeah, I think that's a leaf. Okay. Seven. The case, I couldn't get it. I tried to find the code, but my wounds took over me. 
I saw the first number in sector three, the second number in this room. At that moment, one of those creatures seriously injured me. I managed to escape. The third number is still missing. It must be in the storage room or sector five. The fourth number you have to guess. If anyone finds this, let them know they'll need the tool from the briefcase to get out of here. Maybe you'll have better luck than me. So sector three is one. This is two. So blank seven something. Like you're on the other side of the wall, I should be okay. Actually, now that I had my moth jelly, let's go ahead and take this moth jelly. So I'm looking for sector three. Here and there, yep. Goodness. Oh, storage room. Close that. Close it. Okay. <laughs> so five, seven. Lots of moth jelly. This isn't openable? Okay. So five, seven, and go look for the other numbers. Sector five. Oh, there's multiple. That's the problem. But I can't stack this up and refill. Oi, oi, oi. At least they're, they're, uh, blind. Just don't go crazy. Oh, some sanity pills, thank goodness. Really needed those. I know for sure I'm going to be going crazy with this. Need a lighter or something? I don't have anything for this. I guess that's the tool I'll probably need. I don't know. Oh, a hidey hole. Another one? Interesting. I don't know how to get that open. We'll have to come back. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. So they can drop traps. So I need to find maybe some shears, a scissors. A lighter. Not today. That has to be the only way to go right now, right?
Maybe we didn't go down here. 575. I'm leaving this note in case I don't return. I'm about to enter the maze in search of treasure and the exit. I know there are two exits. Well, three if you count this entrance. Goodbye. Interesting. So I can go pretty much any way I want to. More plants. That's a really interesting map. Oh, there's like, was this a church? Still need my something to cut these guys with. Is this open? Need a key. Ah. Well, I guess I'll run back and maybe I'll try and brute force that box. Maybe it's 575 five something. Everything is fine. So there's a dead body back here that I want to check out. Can we not? Is it worth looking at your body? Nope, you died. Okay. I feel like this is going to end with me getting dead-ended. Said so something about a chalice. But what they don't know is I could use this as an opportunity to explore. Air chalice. I'm guessing these might need to be put in the church. That would make sense, right? It's a dead end. Keep going this way. This is not the way to go, but I just want to explore. Don't step in the Venus fly traps or we are certainly dead. Oh, we're running out of stamina. Oh, I still have my moth jelly popped. Hey, buddy. Easy. Easy. Let's leave the mesa. Let's try the five. It doesn't hurt to try it out, right? Let's actually read this again. Sector three, so that's a five. The second number in this room is seven. At the mon at the moment, one of those creatures seriously injured me. I managed to escape the third number still missing. It must be at the storage room or sector five. Was I in the storage room? Hmm. Is it this is seven. This is for sure seven. Sector three. <sighs> Storage area. So it'd be seven five. But it'd still be five seven five, right? Are we in sector three? So it'd be five seven five regardless. Okay. Let's just try it out. 
and then we'll just spam through the rest of the numbers. Um, um, click to interact. I am trying to interact here. Um, uh, right click, not doing anything. Left click, not doing anything. Tabs, not doing anything. E's, not doing anything. Nor is Q. Nor is scroll wheel. XCV, cap lock, shift, control. I just don't get it. Regardless of what I want to do, it's like I have to do the code first, but I can't code anything. Pick up pesticide. A spray device, destroy the... <gasps> it may destroy the bad weed. Use... That looks pretty dead to me. So it'll still slow me down, but it's not that big a deal. Ooh, okay. Let's equip you, actually. That way I can blow you up faster. Nope, that's not it. Just destroys that. Can I use the cup? Nope. I thought for sure that would be it, but that's okay. At least I can destroy the weeds. Now, and also now that nobody's here, I can spend time trying to get in here. Let me through the Triforce door. I have enough health. Nothing there. That's where we got the sanity pills. Oh, I just needed to pull way the F up. That's not cool at all. I tried that. I could have sworn I tried that, but at the same time, you just needed to, uh, there it is. You needed to pull way higher. So yeah, if you're going to do the number box on the code, you need to grab the number and pull it to the top of the screen, not just a little up and down, like fucking to the sky. Which is rather annoying, but it is what it is. Alright. Can't complain. Figured it out. Wasted a whole moth jelly for it, but we got it. I am not that tired, thank you. What? Thanks for just spawning out of the ground, I guess. Like I want to do this door, and then I want to unlock the maze door to make it easier. Ah. I'm just going to have to brighten this a little bit and post for you guys. Cool mechanic. System data corrupted. Please use restoration drive to access the system. I don't have that at all. Nope, just that, okay. There's a note, I see it. Oh, but first we can stock up on goodies. Okay, well, I don't need that many. All right, backup instructions. Find a laptop. Access the system by the next command. Login username. Change username with the name of the team member. Once logged in, enter the command CD disk 01 in order to access the data. Enter the command. Start backup. 
Wait until the backup completes. Okay. Oh, no, we got a motion tractor again. Tractor. Tracker again. All right. Why does this have an X on it? Can't interact with any of these things. But I can't do anything until I find a laptop. Whoops. All right. I can pick up another one of these in a second, so it's not that big of a deal. Well, that's not okay. They slow you down still, which is very annoying that this is in like a, a running path, but I guess it could be worse. Let's come back over here to the church. Make sure there's nothing over here that I'm missing. There's this door. There we go. So I guess one door at a time, not a big deal. and use you. Not really much here, huh? It's worth checking out. You never know where they're gonna hide it in the nooks and crannies, you know? But I think this will open up another red door or something like that over here. Don't need that. Don't need any of that. Interesting. It's a water fountain? Oh, there's a chalice. Um, what else? Okay. <laughs> Water chalice down. That's where we came in. So I guess we go out through here. For finding air and water, I imagine we'll be looking for fire and earth. That's a thing over there. But first, let's open up a shortcut. 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 Almost. Almost. Almost had me. I literally was like two steps away. Let's see. Oh, what do you know? Fire? Nope. Nope. None of you. Fire. That makes sense because it's the sun, you know. Moth jelly. I'm actually going to wait for it to wear off, eat this next one, then continue on. Now I need earth. That's normal. And it would make sense that that is over there. Actually, why are they so separated? Air was like really far away. The rest of these guys are just really close together. What the hell is going on here? Are these bodies? Uh, 
Shit, 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 shit. First, consume. <sighs> then we sprig. What you get? Don't start drama. Thank you. Instant replacement. Oh, another entity? What the fuck? Um, to get the password, you need to read the ID of the credential and follow, and follow, leave the credential and follow the next steps. Letters go first. Sum the number two by two. Concentrate the last digit by se digit separated by dash. Some ideas won't need the third step. Huh? Oh, okay. So the ID would be B and P. Because those are the numbers or letters that go first. And then the numbers two by two. So the first two go together, the second two, and the third two. And then the last two digits. Con. Con. Concatenate? Con concatenate? The last digit separated by a dash. So the last two get put together regardless. I think I understand. But I need to find the ID. Oh, the laptop. Oh shit, I need to actually do what they just said. And I don't remember what those steps were, but I do have a picture. <laughs> Is it my username though? Cause I don't know what my username is in this. Is it Gus Gus? And also, where do I get the ID? Oh, you got it? Okay. Once the team member with the badge orange has access to the system, the instructions are located in the control menu section. Oh. So one of you have it? Is one of you orange? What's going on here? It's a hidey hole. I'm supposed to find it underneath your corpse. You can equip three items. So let's go ahead and equip that. I don't use you like that. Filled with water. Burning charcoal. How does this work then? Am I supposed to pesticide this? I'm just not doing it right. Ah, yep, there we go. You got it. Literally the last one. Do I take it? Research team raccoon. So is that the username? And the code's going to be... Where's my pen? Write it down. It is raccoon. F H dash four eight thirteen. Dash H. This badge must be displayed at all times, but on company property, as failure to do so may result in. Detention and revocation. 
of research participant status. We're looking for orange. Does everybody have a badge? I need to make doubly sure. Yep, so I think that was it. You're for sure red. We want to make doubly sure that it's orange. Green. Purple. Yellow. The hell's orange? Orange. Yep. And then double check this again. Ah, see, yeah, it was right. So it's, it's going to be... The, the combination of the last two is plus 10, so that's fine. But I only had... H. So I don't, there was no H1. But... That paper there. Don't you go anywhere. Please stay there. Actually, hold you up. All right. So it's raccoon FH4813-H, hopefully. But I need to do login. What are you fucking whistling for? Oh, I got to do it on the keyboard. <laughs> so glad I didn't get myself killed. Raccoon. It was raccoon. Oh, you want me to type in the entire thing? Please don't bother me. Raccoon. Oh, whoops. Login. Raccoon. We're fine, we're fine. F H dash forty four eight one three dash H and then C D disc one zero one. Yes? What? Are you kidding me? I've been misspelling raccoon the entire time. Oh my god. That's on me. Ha! Okay. Now it's seven, four, eight, one, three, dash, H. Huh? Is it F, H, four, eight, one, three, dash, H? There we go. Now for the root, back my picture. Oh, that's the CD disc one. I wish I could just type this out. CD disc zero one. Then it's start back up. Dash to start back up? Is it that specific? Please don't touch me. Okay. Alright. That took a little bit longer than I would have... Uh, would have liked, but we managed to survive and get it done. Mainly because I was misspelling raccoon.
Come on. We need you to actually run away from there. And we can make it. Nailed it. Oh, you know what? We could have used the shortcut. I'm a dummy. Guys, listen, listen. It's all just one big misunderstanding. You understand? That I misunderstood? Alright. I'm still alive. Oh, yo, yo. From here, then what? Yep, dash start backup, wait until backup complete, and I just throw it in the computer? Okay. Um, let's go in here. Nope, no thank you. I figured something like that would happen simply for the fact that they had hidey holes in here. I'm looking for one that matches that. Good low energy overcharge. Oh, I understand. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm just trying to make those gray lines green, and if they were overcharged, they were yellow. So I basically had to select the... the proper sequence to get my green bars there. It didn't matter if there were other green bars. Okay. Would you kindly piss off, mate? Oh, we made it to the church. Tired of searching the treasure in the cathedral. I wish I had a metal detector. Do so I need a metal detector? I've got a motion detector. Did I miss the metal detector somewhere? First things first, I think I can open up the church door. Did I open up another door that was closed? Perchance? Yeah, this should be the door. Maybe there's a metal detector in here. Or maybe it's somewhere in the maze. Ooh, this should be church church jelly. There should be moth jelly, right? Yeah. That's fine. There's another one here. I bet you the metal detector is gonna be right where the metal things at or the metal chalices.
How do I know which direction's which? Here we go. When the wind blows to the north, the fire burns to the west, earth moves to the east, the water flood the south. Wind north, water south. to the west for the fire. Earth moves to the east, yep. Let's go up these stairs and maybe find the earth chalice and the metal detector. It's Pegasus. Blocked on the other side. Just not even openable, okay. Can't interact with you yet. The angel doesn't have anything nearby her. Ah, here we go. Metal detector? The statues. When the Pegasus takes flight, its wings unleash a wind of peace. The fiery skin of the demon radiates flames that never cease. The lion's majestic mane was a blooming meadow. The mermaid swims through the seas and the oceans. Curious. I understand that they will correspond to the chalices in somehow, or some way. But I also haven't found one of the chalices. Let's go check out the other side, maybe. Maybe one of you guys had the chalices on your body. Actually, there's nobody here to bother me, so let's go check over here. This place is so big. Not that I'm complaining, I'm actually kind of happy that they put a lot of effort and time into this. The mermaid swims. Ah, here we go, there's more stuff up here. That doesn't do anything either, never mind. Holy cow, Moth Jelly. I imagine each of these guys will open up a door once I get there. But I still need Earth. Where am I missing Earth? Where, where am I missing stairs? Over here. I feel pretty confident about exploring the maze earlier. We got fire over in that area. We got water over in that same area. Let's, I guess, go back and check the other area. Because this will take us back to the computer room. We still need a metal detector. I have the motion detector, but is it like invisible or something? We got this done. Can I interact with you again? No. That's all I get. Okay. I feel like there's a secret on this bookcase. Maybe a pullable book opens up to a hidden section. That was to access, access, access the everything to the computer. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why would you put that there, not like there to make it easier to find? That is so annoying. I thought I found the secret lever for the fucking bookshelf. Lo and behold, it's just a stupid thing. Now I have a metal detector. What do you have to say? It's in the church? I'm tired of searching the treasure in the cathedral. I wish I had a metal detector. Okay.
Back to the good old faithful. Was that ah, <laughs> oh, there, okay. Well, problem solved. Now something to do with the statues. So I imagine you want me to face this. Oh, okay. So maybe we face the statues in the same direction that they were supposed to be in. The demon fires in the west. Mermaid is to the south. Pegasus flies north, which looks good already. So that means the lion is earth. Oh. Should have grabbed more moth jelly while I was up there, but not a big deal. Yeah, Pegasus goes north, so that means you go towards the, the, the thing. Can't say I really approve. Destroying the damn chapel. Okay, let's not kill ourselves. Before we leave, I am going to grab some more, uh, moth jelly. Damn, everybody and their mom showed up after that. We're doing great. I actually feel like we're really close to winning this thing. I guess underneath the angel there's a stairway oh poor leaf clover key okay never mind now i just need to refine my way back to that door which was slightly off to the right from here Now that I think about it, it might have been faster just to go through the red doors, but we're already here. This solves this everything, so I should be able to escape. Okay, hold on, let's... It's off to the right. I have to go through the thick patch of grass. That makes it look like it's a dead end. It's over this way, I believe. This is it. Up, oh, and I'm dead. Nope! Don't you touch me! It's this way... <laughs> I was like, if I make it quick enough... The game needed to catch up. I was so fast. I opened the door at least. Ooh, even better. I, I won't question it. And we are free. Did 
This doesn't make me feel like we're free. <laughs> oh, no. This is another entity. Oh, color books. Blue one. Red three. Green five? Huh. Take a quick picture of this as always. Sorry, not sorry. My brain will forget. I'm on the verge of death and my sanity fading. I'll sit down, gather my strength, and try to stay awake. The empty shelf and the Roman numeral must be the key to get out of here. I guess I'm looking for the colored books, pulling them in that order. Of course you guys are here too. Can't just have a puzzle. Come on. Oops. I don't know why you got unequipped. That use, please. So there's more than one of everything? Green. Maybe it's the number I need of every book. So for like blue, I only need one. And... So I've ran through here a couple times, even while being chased. Didn't see any more books. So let's go to the bookshelf and see if I can't solve it with the books I already have. And in the process, not die. So what I have is blue equals one, red equals three, green equals five. So I can pick these back up, but I can only hold one at a time. So right now I have a five, a three, and two. Do I need a five? Do I really? Did I really just need a green and a red? Am I supposed to just make V3, V3, eight, like the number on the wall, so I don't need any blues? Drop it. <laughs> you son of a bitch! See, now I'm not sure if I was supposed to make eight or if I was supposed... Would you piss the fuck off? I don't know if I was supposed to make eight or if I was supposed to make the... the, the five and the three a um, uh, thing. Because I could have done it with three blues. I did have three blues. I had two reds and two greens. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. Is the door over here? <laughs> Either way, we solve the answer. I think we're done, right? Give me. No, I don't even have any more moth jelly. You know what? Screw it. We're just gonna go. Technically, I think what I just answered, I think I answered my own question. I could have used the blues 
Or I could have used the red. Because technically they both equal the three. I just didn't know if I had to do exactly three. So that way, per se, you combine the two books together and you get a five and a three or what? But I think maybe you just needed to equal eight. Because there's no other section in that book that was labeled. Either way, please let this be the end. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could probably cut that down to like 30 minutes. Well, there you guys go. Let's escape from the back rooms or inside the back rooms, escaping from the grasslands. I did like that level's aesthetic, but I did not like the plant people. I felt like they, like even when I was standing still, because allegedly they don't have eyes. They only have ears. So if I'm standing completely still, they should not aggro to me. That was one thing. And two, once I killed the Venus flytraps on the on the ground, I should have been able to walk over them. They're dead. They should not slow me down. And instead, they still slowed me down. So that was very, very annoying. But a win's a win. I hope you guys appreciated that. This is the bonus Halloween level. I hope you guys have liked all the Halloween levels as I started working on them about a month ago. And this is now the culmination of everything. And yeah. Just let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Hit it with me with the, the like button, a subscribe, whatever you prefer to do. I, I, I really appreciate it. Just let me know what's going on with you and how you feel about the content. But yeah, thanks for watching. And until next time, take it easy and peace.